Mensa News Bulletin live from EK Mensa Studios in Accra, Ghana, and we are live all over the world on www.mensatvonline.com with up to date news, uploads, and updates on Twitter and Instagram at themensa.tv. We are also live on Facebook, Mensa TV, and also news is live on YouTube. Mensa TV official. In the headlines today, we have fuel prices to cross 10 Ghana cities per liter by March 16, and also U.S. authorizes $200 million additional military aid to Ukraine. Also, Instagram no longer accessible in Russia. My name is Kweku Mensa. Let's take the details. Chamber of Petroleum Consumers, COPEC Ghana, has predicted that fuel prices in Ghana will cross 10 Ghana cities per litre by March 16. Fuel prices, however, has already been crossed, um, has crossed the 8 Ghana cities um, litre um, mark that was given. COPEC, in a statement issued on Monday 14th uh, March, said, the petroleum price indicators of 11th March averages for calculating X pumps prices begin from Wednesday, the 16th of March, 2022. It shows that the FOB price of petrol has increased by 19.28%. Now into our next story, U.S. President Joe Biden authorized some $200 million in additional military equipment for Ukraine on Saturday as Russia widens its bombardments and pummel several areas. Washington already, however, has authorized some $350 million of military equipment on February 26, the largest package um, in the history of U.S. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky pleads for help um, has grown increasingly desperate and he has repeatedly urged Washington, uh, the EU and NATO for help. Now to our next story, Instagram was inaccessible in Russia on Monday after Moscow accused its parent company Meta of allowing calls for violence against Russians, including the military on its platforms. The move came after Facebook and Twitter were blocked in early March as part of sweeping efforts by Moscow to control information available to Russians about its military operations in Ukraine. Instagram appeared on Monday on a list of restricted online resources on a list published by Russia's media regulator Roskomnadzor. For many small Russian businesses, Instagram was a way and uh, a key platform for them to advertise and process sales uh, as well as communicating um, with clients. Now on to our very last story and also in the entertainment sector, we have Ghana Gospel Awards set to open nominations officially for 2022 edition. The most prestigious scheme which has singled out to recognize and appreciate both uprising and well-established people whose works are centered around the gospel, particularly film, music, and arts, in a press conference attended by Mensa TV, made known all the arrangements for its second edition, which was themed Revamped for the Gospel by the Gospel. Organizers also used the opportunity to name winners of Ghana Gospel Awards 2021. The news has ended. We have more news on Twitter and Instagram at TheMensa.tv. Also, visit us at www.mensatvonline.com. Follow us on Facebook, Mensa TV. Watch us on YouTube, Mensa TV Official. My name is Kweku Mensa. Thanks for watching.